Hello, everybody. <laughs> we are calling ourselves the Knitistry Nerds because we are chemistry teachers who are knitters and really nerdy about all the things. So, um, yeah. I'm Michelle. And I'm Katie. Um, and we're in South Carolina. Yeah. We teach high school science. science. Um, you've got forensics this year. And, and physics. Physics. And I teach chemistry and physical science. And yeah, that's, that's and we knit all the time, knit all the time, yeah. all meetings, all the time in class when we can get away with it, <laughs> all those good things. Yeah. So um, we decided that we wanted to do a podcast and talk about everything, everything but primarily knitting. Um, there's not a lot of Southern podcasts out there. You're right. I didn't even think about that. I know. So there's not. We thought, well, let's let let's throw our oars in the water and get started. So. Yeah. We came up with the name Knitistry because, again, chemistry. Um, even though I'm not teaching chemistry right now, that's how I started. And um, the nerds with a K, K N E R D S, so that we are the Knitistry nerds. You can find us. We've started an Instagram account, and we have a Facebook account, and we have our YouTube account. So you can find us all those places. Oh, and a uh, Gmail account. Yes, email so us. Knitistry nerds at gmail.com. Gmail K N I S T I I got lost. <laughs> knit is tree. Knit is try. There you go. Knit is try. K N E R D S and at gmail.com. There we go. We we'll get a little bit started here. So we have our little mascots. Yes. yes. So I've got a Erlenmeyer flask. And mine's a round bottom flask because I got a round bottom. And that's my babe. Her favorite color is green. Mine is purple. So here we go, these are our mascots. I knit them from patterns from, I found on Etsy. Her shop's name is Butterfly Love Woman. Butterfly Love Woman. And her name's Dawn something. But I am pretty sure if you Google for chemistry knitted toys or items or something like that, it would come up, that's what I did. There's I, a lot of crochet ones, but there's very there are few knitted, yeah, knitted, so, so it'll pop right. I, I Googled. Put, her link in the show notes. We'll put her link in the show notes. We'll start. That's our first link. It's our first link notes. in the show notes. I'm analog, so I have to write down she everything. Notes. But yeah, so these are our little mascots that sit on the table, and maybe someday we'll have a shelf so they can sit behind us. Yeah, we're working on it. Oh, speaking of which, it's an out of date periodic table. We really didn't steal it off the wall at school. It wasn't even on it the wall. It wasn't on the wall. It was in storage. <laughs> it is out of date, so we borrowed it. And here we are. Yeah. So we've got a pure teal background. So we're we ready to go. It. Not yeah. really. We're, we're really hamming this up. So um, you feel mm -hmm. free, free to give us suggestions because we don't know what the hell we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about having fun, though. That's it all is. we want. It we, is. We're just having fun. It, it's, we talk about knitting a lot, and I think some people Round get a little clock. frustrated with us when, like, we get excited and Just the non-knitters. And, <laughs> and scream. Yeah, those who don't understand, like... The, Our husbands. <laughs> you know, I did school my kids today, not just in chemistry, but also in the cost of yarn. Ah. So what they were asking about our shirts. So we got these new oh, shirts. Our shirts, yes. From Clever Clove. So she just came. We ordered them about a month ago. Yeah, we pre-ordered. I mean, when she opened up her mm -hmm. pre-order was when we did. And it. I, I bought the bag just because. Um, well, so I, you can I see it all. So we see it better. It. So it is the feel knitting knitters feeling things, and it's all these cute little cats uh, knitting. And so the first one is over here on your. It's normal. This side, it, yep. it's straight up. Um, got a compliment on my hand knit. That's like one of my favorites. Is when somebody compliments my yes. hand knit. And then I'm knit star. night to myself. I don't get many of those. No. Uh, and then uh, ordering that perfect hand dyed skein. And we also had the conversation of a girl who crochets. She's the one on the back. And she did, she says skein, and I said skein. And I, is, that, is that a crochet thing? Like? I don't think so. I mean, I grew up with skein, but um, when I lived up in New, I used to live in New England for a while in the um, late 80s, early 90s, in Maine and all the surrounding states. Mm -hmm. And they said skein. They said yeah, a lot of it, a lot of them said skein. I have, I met some knitters and a few crocheters up there. Although I hung out mostly with quilters. Oh, well, that makes sense because that's when I learned to quilt was up there. The back says uh, got the right number of stitches on the first try. And that's like, really important. <laughs> it is important. That was me today. I picked up 177 stitches 
and I got it right. You have it with you? Let's show them. Oh, 177 picked up stitches. We really are going to have an order to how we do stuff, but not today. Mm. By the way, we're filming this, our first episode, on May the 4th Be With You Day. Star unofficial Star Wars Day. Star Wars Day. Okay, this was, okay, this is my, what's its name? Vertices Unite by Stephen West. And if you haven't knit this before and like garter stitch, it'd be a good thing to do because there's a lot of, of garter. All right, so that's just section one. Which it's Stephen West. So it's Stephen know. West. So, yeah, it's gonna that's be. section one. It's two, two colors. One is dyed by Katie. <laughs> we'll talk about that a little later. <laughs> and the other is Seven Sisters. We went to the uh, Stitches Atlanta the last time there was one. And I yeah. bought <laughs> all the purples that they had. And um, so I'm using, those two are what is together in my section one thing. But then when you go to do, set, and you decrease it all the way out, and then you go to do section two, and you have to pick up, like I said, 177 stitches. And that's in two other colors. I am not really sure. Okay, the white one actually has these pretty black and pink speckles. This is Princess Meow. <laughs> I don't ask. Cute little cat it thing. is a cute little cat thing. Um, from Yarn Ink in Canada. I don't remember where in Canada. I've had this for quite a while. And we're gonna be mentioning her again in a minute or two because I have some more stuff. And I don't know where the gray came from. Uh, gee, I don't know. It. Y'all, one day we'll show you my yarn room. I was gonna say, we'll have a special one day where we both show off our craft rooms. And yeah, we'll, we'll do go that. Through and kind of show what it's we do. Scary. It, well, it's scary. It's mean, scary. Anyway, so I don't know what it is or where it came from, but it's a tunnel gray. And then that's section two. And then there's more. Of course. It's Stephen West. It's Stephen there's West. Be more. So there's more colors. Oh, there it is. I know where it is. It's over in my. When pigs fly. When pigs fly bag from Knit for Brains. Okay, I'm, I'm writing that down too. Knit for Brains. Knit for Brains. <sighs> Someone's coming in the back door. <laughs> Just ignore them. It's okay. Um, as I get there, I'll show you the other colors. I just know that I have more colors. So, there we go. <laughs> okay. All right. So, um, picking up stitches and getting the count the right time. That's what it was yeah, all about. That's we what did it's that. about. Yes, yeah, absolutely. That's definitely okay. one of those things that you feel accomplished when you do it. I do, and the number works out right, especially when it's 177. You're trying to count when you've got 14 students yelling at you. Doing something. I also, when I bought my shirt in my bag, I got from her That's right. this adorable pop socket with a cat in bed knitting and drinking tea, I think, and um, watching on her, probably Netflix, because Netflix it's, and knit is, 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 a, is a, a thing. thing. Yeah, it's a true, so, true thing. Cute little pop socket that she has. So she's got a bunch of things on her website. Oh, we, have, we both have lots of her pins and stuff like that. We the just, Henrietta the Hedgehog. Henrietta the Hedgehog. I mean, we it, love so, the little hedgehog. Right, I'll go ahead and say I, I do love everything that she does. It's I even, even have her screen look, background. She does one every month <laughs> since September, I think. So she has little backgrounds of the pets oh, and the animals. Cute. And so I, I download them and make them on my background each month. She hasn't come out with May yet, but I'll, I'll put that in the show notes so you can look for it later. But Oops. they're so cute. I caught the reflection in my backyard in your phone. <laughs> it's okay. We're sitting in my sunroom, looking out into the backyard. It would you know, coming this way. So we have good, hopefully good light. If that's not good light, tell us because you know we need help. Like is. yeah, we're we're, yes. we're new. essentially we bought a tripod for my iPad, a, a microphone, and that's all yeah. we bought because with the periodic table again we borrowed from the school so yeah. if there's any suggestions out there i know there's tons of videos we've yeah. watched a few but and we, we want to know what you guys want to see and what you guys feel about what's going yeah. on so Just give us suggestions put a comment and let us know yeah um don't tap the table see they, I, I got one one rule don't tap the table and don't lean on the table that's two rules two two i rules. can't count that's two, two rules so let's go with your your recently fo's because she's got a couple of finished I mean, she's finished um, I, I did. brought none because the last thing I finished was in October of last year. But it was a big something. It was a sweater. Yeah, it was that um, rattlesnake, wasn't it? No, no, no. It was the um, Night of the Dead. I will look it up. But it is um, this beautiful sweater with skulls on it. Cause, yes, because 
skulls. She's a Halloween time. thing. Halloween is a big thing in our family. I think it's just the skulls. Like I really Maybe like it's just the, the skulls. skulls. Like Halloween's one of those things that I've never like. I like the dressing up. Part. At my house, it's a big thing because my son, children. Yes, two of my children are all about Halloween. Oh, I guess I. Should. I have three kids. Uh, a twenty-five-year-old girl, twenty-three-year-old boy, and a nineteen-year-old boy, and um, so I had older my older bunch, not counting Katie, <laughs> my adopted daughter. All right, so okay, I'm supposed to be talking about yeah. right, this. This yeah. is sock head hat, and I think. Lord knows it's been around for a long time and a lot of people have made I think there's like 10,000 projects on Ravelry for the sock head hat but um, I'm writing it down and I don't remember what yarn this is it's a self-striping yarn sock yarn I got a bajillion years ago oh. when self-striping first came out I loved that it was the rainbowy striped with cream I don't know if you can see I'm that I know I always do that I always do that I've been doing that since we started a few minutes ago. You know, I always do that. Oh, but um, my youngest, my 19 year old is really into wearing stocking caps and especially loosey goosey, what do they call them with the drapey thing in the back? The slouch, slouchy, slouchy, beanie. slouchy, slouchy beanie. He yep. loves the slouchy beanie. So this will end up with him most likely. He's a freshman in college. He just finished his freshman year in college last Friday. So, so exciting. It was because, you know, hey, he kept his scholarships. He made all A's. Nice. Okay, and then this is my Laponia mm -hmm. by, yeah, I'll let you hold it up. Yeah, I can hold it. You can talk about okay, it. Okay, that's my Laponia. Vera Valamaki came out with this pattern last fall, I think, or into the summertime. Now, it's supposed to have long sleeves and be a little bit longer sweater, but, um, I like them short. I'm short waisted, and so I like a shorter cropped length, yeah. especially if I'm gonna wear it over a dress or a skirt, mm -hmm. which is what I'm gonna wear this for. It has not been blocked yet. I could tell. Yeah, I haven't blocked it yet because it doesn't look like it'll fit, but it'll block oh, out. Oh no, I just meant you could see the, the puckering a little, oh, yeah. but it'll block out. Oh, it's totally gonna block out, but I did finish it. It's from Madeline Tosh TML, Tosh Merino Light, all three colors are Tosh Merino Light. I went through a phase, oh God, 10. 10, 12 years ago. Just everything Madeline Everything Tosh. Madeline Tosh. I mean, I have shelves and shelves of Madeline Tosh. I mean, speaking Seriously. of which, did you see her email today? No. Oh my gosh. Here we go. But anyway, this is where it starts. And it's, it's, it's my shade of blue that I love so much. My Denimi blue, then with some bright colors on it, which is gonna be All good right. for me. So this is Cotton Candy Daydreams. I didn't see this. I didn't see that this. is Cotton Candy Daydreams. If you can really see oh the colors my God. there, I and love then that. below that is I need to this is email. Just to say, <gasps> just to say. Now that. that is my kind of blue and oh, white, yeah. oh, that's, beautiful colors. Oh, that's showing up good. So, so check yeah, out the Madeline Tosh. Good. Yeah, I love. I love a single. I always have. And um, I like to spin them, I like to knit with them. I love singles. And it just, it's got this shine to it. TML is my Tosh Marino light. It's one of my fave, 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 favorite yarns. It's beautiful. I like, I, I have always liked talking about the quality of their bases and everything. It, oh yeah, it's And their dye jobs special. are superb. Okay, so those are my only two, except for, you know, these guys. Those are I finished these last night. These are my last night. So guys. it's- I have no idea what I'm looking at on the screen, by the way. I, I've looked all over <laughs> the screen. I, so the one I just finished is the Dead yes, of this is Night. So uh, gorgeous. Oh, okay, there it is. There's a glare. By there it goes. That's better without the glare. Uh, in in Jean. Oh, I just ingenue. Had, ingenue. Ingenue. Is that it? Yeah. No, Hannah Mann. Hannah Mann, but, but her she's on something ingenue on Instagram. Instagram. I'll put it right here. Yeah, she, link. That's her. She does the technology. And this. I'm analog, like I said. Is the one I did. I haven't blocked yeah. it yet either. And there's her puppy. And that is Fitz. He just had to be in the photo. But you can yes. see those bird skulls. Oh my They're gorgeous. Gosh. That is she so pretty. Several patterns that are like these bird skulls and other skulls. There's a cowl. There's another sweater. Yeah. So check her out if you're into that kind of anthropology kind of. Look. look and feel. I really do yeah. like her stuff. But that yarn I use. Maybe it's because we're science nerds. That's what it is. is. We like skulls. 
It was, uh, I and used I do forensics, picks. so I did oh, things. Yeah, did things. The knit picks in um, Shine, Shine Sport yeah. to make it a little bit yeah. lighter in that feel. So that's that's the yarn I use for that. But I'll bring it next time and show it off. Yeah, so it's good. Wait, next time. Yeah, it'll be so hot. Um, it's light. 87 degrees outside, people. Yeah. So <laughs> that is one thing about living in the South and being a knitter. There are days where you go outside and you're like, yeah, I can't no. do it today. So that's I why I spent years didn't do sweaters. Yeah. At all. I was just knitting um, shawls and scarves mm -hmm. and accessory type stuff because, and because that's all our weather really hands, mm -hmm. handles. We're in the Greenville area of South Carolina. Mm -hmm. Very nice. The area. upper upstate area. And um, while we're in the northern part of South Carolina and it's hot. We, we could tell them that we live near Clemson. We do live near Clemson. So, yeah. I'm not a sports fan, but Michelle here. I'm a freaking nut about sports. I did not go to Clemson. I went to NC State. Still in the ACC, so it's still that. But my husband and his entire family are all Clemson grads, and she graduated. I graduated from Clemson. From Clemson so yeah. we will talk about Clemson often. I'm quite sure. I know we'll be talking about football. I'll come in with the things it's, my husband tells me about. That's yeah. right. Um, when we go, we go out to dinner <laughs> Or out for drinks or whatever. Her husband and I watch football the whole time. <laughs> the whole time. Oh, I'm talking football and getting on. Yeah. They, they talk about yeah, football. She keeps us all straight. But yeah, no, yeah. I'm the sports sports nut. But we decided to film on Wednesdays because There's it has the really least sports. amount of sports. And all there is is baseball. <laughs> and right I can now. get around my baseball. Yeah, yeah, baseball's. I, I like baseball till about the fifth inning and then I'm about done. Well, so you take your and I do, yeah. Well, but then it gets baseball is one of those baseball. warm sports, so you yeah, and it's, it you get hot, yeah, yeah. And it's hard to knit when you're hot. But I do love going to a baseball game. I watch baseball on TV. Heck, I'll watch it on my phone when you get the streaming, and it just you're looking at a drawing of a batter, mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> and then it shows you where the balls were when they came across the plate. Yeah, Google does that now. I'll do that. Great, because my baseball team is the Astros, because I grew up in Southeast Texas, and um, so. I don't get them televised here very often. Don't know why. That, that's something to do with the sports network. I don't, talks no, about it all the time how frustrating it is. So we no, just but well, we, get, we get the NFL package. So okay. I can watch all the games all the time. Cause, and we watch NFL this morning. And it's all about, oh, yeah. I text my husband. The only, the only time I text my husband during the day is to tell him what's going on with the NFL. Because I get ESPN alerts at school. <laughs> On my phone. No service in your classroom. No service, but by golly, the ESPN <laughs> alerts come through. Let me just say. So I'll text him. So and so did such and such. <laughs> so and so's just signed such and such contract. <laughs> and he's like, Michelle, I got it. I know. He listens to sports radio all the time, though. Mm -hmm. I don't get to go out to my car and listen to sports no, radio. You've got he it. He's on your phone. Okay. Right, so that was finish offs, and you did your current whip. Do you have another whip you want to talk about? Because um, I got. One over here. Well, you go because I've been. Okay. I just went bad one. I'm about to add the yellow, so I'm super excited. Oh yay! So I bought a a set. I made my own set to do the mystery knit along for the knights who say knit by lyrical knits. And I love, absolutely love Monty Python. Like they're just oh, their songs. We do quote it Oh yeah, yeah. You've got to. Quote my it. whole family is um, nuts about that movie. But it got about halfway, and it was like you have to do everything twice. And I've only ever knit one sock for a very good reason. I get so bored. She's <laughs> got a lot of single socks. I do. And sweaters get to a point where I'm like, I've got one sleeve and I need to do the other. I know Sleeve Island is a thing, but for me, it's a real struggle to get that second sleeve yeah, done. Yeah, I need to start uh, two at a time. Two at I a do. time. I do. I really do. Magic loop. And I do. Um, I did that for um, when I made the, my very first sweater from Marie Green. Oh, she yeah. did that uh, four day knit along. The four day knit along. The beekeeper. Yeah. Super cute thing. I'll bring it's that It's a beautiful one sweater. Too. Yours is gorgeous. Mine, so, mine yeah. didn't, I didn't make it out of the knit along. <laughs> <laughs> it was the bees, right? Uh, yeah, the bees just, I just, I just couldn't get in a rhythm. And I was at a state of mind where I wasn't going to get in a state of rhythm. So sometimes that happens. Your life just dictates what you can knit. Um, yeah. Like, I am dying to start a color work sweater. I've got several. Yarn all picked out, ready to go. Bagged up even, ready to go. But I just, I'm not been in the mental, mental place to start a collar work sweater. Right. So. So this is, I just, I ripped it out when I found out I had to do it twice and I still. Oh yeah, the lyrical knits. It, nice beautiful it. pattern. It's adorable. She is like, so it. good. I've been following her since before there was an Instagram. I've followed her on Ravelry. Ravelry. And um, 
She did these great videos with it. Oh, she's a fabulous knitter. I can't remember her name she right now. Coconuts. Mary Annarella. Huh? Mary Annarella. Just because it's an old memory. memory. It's an old memory. The new <laughs> stuff, I can't tell you what I had for lunch. Except, well, that's not true. I really can. Because we're having Teacher Appreciation Week this week. And people are bringing lunches in for it's us. It's been great. It has been fabulous. Really, really good. And I'm, I have to be gluten-free. It's not my choice. Down bright. I promise you it's not my choice. But, so they, they've they been trying to work out things. And I'm really sick of salads. Today, I got a sandwich. Because somebody found a gluten-free wrap. Yeah, so, yeah. All right. So, this is. Sorry. Now, I've turned it into the Spice Market. This is such a cool pattern. Uh, so here is the first part is where you do like these big thick stripes. There's some short, yes, there are some short rows in there to kind of give it a good shape. And then you do these fun little, uh, I don't know, bobbles. They're not really bobbles, but they bobble S. It, well, it's a mosaic type slip stitch thing. That, that creates it, Yeah, because right? yeah. the, the white stitches are slip stitch. Right. So I'm about to start the next section with the yellow. I don't know if you can tell, but it's changing colors. You can't, so you do you can see the three, the three blues here are yeah. backwards. So this is the dark, the light, light. and up here. And here's the green. greener, greener one. So she's getting ready to start the tobacco yeah, color. Yes, yeah, beautiful. That color. one right there. This and is I what will, comes next. I'll have to put it in the show notes. I have no idea what these colors are. I picked them out. I wanted a jewel toned kind of coloring. Was it a set already done or no, you picked them out? I picked them out because I liked, I don't know, I didn't like the kits that, this is Miss Babs by the way. Oh, oh, oh. I this went to, uh, Babs. what do they call those things? Uh, oh my God. That show. Yes. I mean, uh, where, where somebody brings in yarn. Trunk show. No, was it a trunk show? Is that what it is? Pop-up. Pop-up shop. Pop-up, so I was trying to think pop-up <laughs> shop. Y'all, we taught all day today. Can you tell? <laughs> But anyway, so, oh yeah, oh I just went to one in Charlotte and it was wonderful. So these are the was it two, two the toes toes so the tiny ones are the yes, toes and the I toes. had a purple the light purple color to go with it. But I liked the way the white that doesn't suit you. No, but I like the way the white popped with it. So I yeah. got some undyed yarn from my um, almost failed business. <laughs> we're, we're we might start it back up. That would, so yeah. when co I dyed yarn for. Over a year. I yeah. did a few shows. Um, Nerdy Bird Knits. Nerdy Bird Yarns. Nerdy Bird Yarns. Um, Nerdy yeah. Bird. Nerdy Bird. Um, so my husband always wanted to start a brewery called Nerdy Bird Brews. And he's, he still might do that. We've been talking about opening a yarn store and I'm brewery next to we, each other. We really like, want to do that. Okay. Which the whole Miss Babs thing counts. Because the Miss Babs pop-up in Charlotte was at a brewery. And it was so cool. You walk into the brewery, and then there's yarn in the back, and people are sitting around knitting and drinking beer, and it was just, it was wonderful. It's like a great, and think about it, like my husband mm -hmm. would let me buy more yarn if he could drink beer, beer on wine. premises. Yes. Yeah, like, absolutely. we went to a place in Denver, Colorado. Oh, no, yeah, I think it was Denver. Um, Ooh, let's remember where that is, so I'm going to go visit Sarah. Yes, I'm going to visit Sarah, <laughs> yes. So, um, I will pull up the name, and I'll put it right here, so this is the name of the shop. Um, and they had on site, it was like if your significant other was shopping or if you were shopping and you wanted a drink, including beer or wine or hot tea or a oh, soda, oh. you got one complimentary drink while you shopped in the store. And I think it really would have brought oh, more yeah. couples in. Like if the guy could sit there and drink or if the person who's not into yarn can have a glass of wine while the other one looks around. Yeah, it's not, oh, I think that would be awesome. Uh, yeah, so we've always talked I'm about picturing that happening people. and that would be so good. It would yeah. be great. Plus, her husband wants to be a brewmaster. He does. He wants to be, he's actually designing beers where he works right now. Well, he's he's working jobs. on a gluten-free one for me. He, he's working on it. Yeah, he's, there's an enzyme that will eat the gluten or remove. Yeah. I, I should know the chemistry. Well, that's biology. So. Yeah, we'll blame that on the biology teacher. That's, teachers. Teachers that's a biology there thing. There you go. So, yeah, but that's, Never mind that I've taught biology, but I'm not a biology person. Yeah. That yes. was just because I teach everything. You do teach everything. But I do, I, I dyed yarn for a good while. She um, did, and gorgeous. Well, I showed you the that one, one color in my... Um, that was Cobblestones on Baker Street. So it's, it's this beautiful gray, and it's got these pops of very little bit color. color, some yellow. That's and a beautiful color. It's, beautiful. it's one of my favorite that I ever made, and I know that's I probably my favorite. My favorite. My favorite is Electromagnetic Spectrum, <laughs> and I should have some out here. We'll bring it next time, but you can see that's a very dark oh, base, but then it's got the beautiful. rainbow of colors. It's like a rainbow on black, yeah, but with a green cast. And it's on, my favorite on sparkles. So I got a couple sparkles. Yeah, we'll I got plans for those last four skeins of that. <laughs> <laughs> All 
I so we'll, we'll bring that next time and go through that. But yes, right. so that's our, our finish offs. Um, we do have a few purchases we've made recently. I'm gonna I'm gonna we talk do. about the bag here. I have more um, whips because I am course, the whip queen. You do. Well, I have about ten whips. I just I have. I mean, I have active whips. ones. I have, yeah, I have two active. more active ones. Um, so I love crafty little that, that crafty little that fox. crafty little fox. Um, she's been making bags for years. I've got three or four of them. Oh yeah, there. I do too. She has a shop update because I'm coming up sometime this week. Is it Saturday? It's probably or Sunday. I, know, I don't remember. I, I know somebody else who's having one. I, I need to. It is. I don't remember. But I'm, I know I got her email. Mm -hmm. It's that crafty little fox. She's that crafty little fox on Instagram, and that that one tells you because I I looked at Saturday that. at three p.m. Pacific. Saturday. I was saying Saturday. Sometime here, I can never remember. What time? It what time is three Pacific? So is it it's six, six here? Six here. Yeah. So they're three, three hours, hours behind us. But this is her new kind of style of bag. So it's got these side pockets. It's got these great leather handles. They might be pleather, leather. but I cannot I remember, remember to be honest. I either way, I love leather. So leather, pleather. I like. But she's yeah. got these very nice rose gold accents on it, and the pink on the inside. And it has puppies. It has puppies. Who doesn't love puppies? Katie's a big puppy mama. So I have three dogs. Um, you saw Fitz earlier. There is Rennie. She's actually um, Renfro because my husband told me that if we ever got another pet, that we had to name it after Hunter Renfro, Renfro. the kicker from the. He's Clemson. not. No, he's not a kicker. No. <laughs> he's a wide out receiver, and he now plays for the Las Vegas Raiders. There you go. That's why I have her around <laughs> when I do these things. So, Hunter no, Renfro, the, the the guy. Yes. He was a walk-on, though, right? He was a walk-on at walk Clemson and caught. He's the one that you'll remember seeing catching the big pass mm -hmm. at the end of the national championship first, year that year. The first national championship? Yeah. And they then, won recently. Yeah. And he went. They didn't ex really expect him to get drafted. But he got drafted in the, I want to say sixth round, fifth or sixth round that year. And he's played for Vegas the last two years. And this past year... Everybody was talking about him. He had over a thousand yards receiving and rushing. Oh my god! I mean, he was just boom. Is that amazing? I, it is. Okay. He's a sweet, sweet, sweet kid. He is. So he told He's me, a gorgeous little girl. If we, if for some reason we accidentally had a child, it had to be named after Hunter Renfro. So I made sure the next thing in our house to be named was a dog. Was a dog. <laughs> so Rennie is a girl. Her name is actually Renfro, but Renfro, but we call her Rennie. The two of them, Fitz and Rennie, got together and um, had an accidental litter of puppies. An accidental litter. Of so we call it. Uh, there was five adorable babies. Precious. Um, one of them. So precious. Went to a friend I went to high school with. Cute little piebald dachshund. I don't think I mentioned they're all dachshunds, but I should have. So cute little piebald dachshund. And then so precious. two went to a guy we work with. Um, he named one. Also a science teacher. Uh, yeah, also a science teacher. Much, Very much a nerd. Um, oh, yes. Oh, yes. He had a boy and a girl. He named the girl Luna, or his wife named the girl Luna, but the boy mm -hmm. looks just like Falcor from The NeverEnding Story. Oh, he's got the same he long. Really does. He's so really, cute. Really the only does. difference is he's got that darker brown color. Yeah. Red. Um, he looks like wow. Falcor. He really just does. like Falcor. That and little then, face. <laughs> so, uh, and then my sister took one, <laughs> little Dapple Wheaton, um, <laughs> named Loki. There's one blue eye and one brown eye. She's so, She's so cute. sweet. She was born to be a service she dog. She really was. She um, was. Oh, God. She's so the sweetest cute. baby. She is. And then our little baby. Um, only the real, real nerds out there might get this reference, but I named her Ari after the girl in The Name of the Wind that Kavof meets when he finally goes to the school. <laughs> what? <laughs> We are true nerds, just saying. <laughs> it's one of those that I love the books. I have read both of them two or three times. But if he does not publish that third book soon, I might go crazy. But it's been almost 20 years, so I'm not sure I'm ever going to get You may three. not ever get books. He three, keeps but... putting out teasers. Patrick Rothfuss, he looks like he should be a, um, a fantasy writer. He's got the beard and the uh -huh. hair. And, but yeah, that... That would work. But she's You're so, banging in the table. I am banging in the table. <laughs> My turn to get her! <laughs> but yeah, so, um, yeah. Um, yes, hers a dog mama. I am Which dog cracks mama. me up about her getting all this cat stuff. Because hers but a it's dog so mama. it's so cute. Like, it could be a dog. <laughs> well, I have a cat who acts like a dog, so that'll work. Yeah, it works. Yeah. yeah. All right, and your, your recent bag purchase. Oh, yes. My recent bag purchase. I lucked into getting um, one of... The fat squirrel, it's got two T's, 
two L's. One that I don't remember is the fat squirrel. The fat squirrel. I'm, she doesn't do bags very often anymore, but when she does, I jump too. Because I've had this one for a year or two now, I think. That reminds me this of thing. retinas. And it, <laughs> Sorry. It's I think just, it's supposed to be it. like coral or I, see something I can see. Here's, your, here's the pupil. And yeah, I, I can see where it looks yeah. like a retina. Again, that's that science nerd part of us. Yeah. Um, I and I, she does make smaller bags, but I like bags you can put, you know, dead bodies in. Michelle Cats doesn't and babies do small and I don't do small anything. <laughs> I, that's, a, that's my tagline for life. I don't do small anything. <laughs> so she had a recent update, and I thought this was the happiest looking fabric ever. It's beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? Tulips and then, I guess those are daisies. Open daisies. I don't know. They're flowers. They're flowers. Um, anyway, I really love this bag, and it's, she's, it's really well interfaced. Yeah, it's very. Th I mean, it's, it's, very, nice, it's, it's very thick. I, I love this bag. I'll be I, able to I drag this all over well the United on States. On the table where it doesn't like flop over. Like some oh, yeah. bags will flop, but this one has a very good base, and yeah, the sides are thicker. It's, I just love the colors. I love it's olive beautiful. with pinks and oranges. I know that's not a normal combination. All right, this is my other active whips. We have two friends who are changing jobs. Who are going away from us. So I we hate them, but we don't. <laughs> so I'm trying to knit. Uh, going away presents. This is another Stephen West. Yes, I have a problem. That's okay. This is called Batad. B-A-T-A-D, Batad. Um, I actually printed the pattern off because I don't know why. I haven't done that in years, but I did. So, this is, it doesn't give anything away. It's, of course, a pay-for pattern. It's basically a cowl that when you wear it looks like a, a shawl and which you can't really tell from the pictures but you can tell from this one if you go up close to that is that it, those are welts the black stripy looking things are really welts where you knit like eight or nine rows and then you fold it over and knit it together so that it um forms a welt yeah. you might be able to see it on the yeah, on the, yeah. On your actual. i have no idea where the needles are it's in the round so Oh, oh, I just dropped a stitch. That's okay. I can fix it. I'm not worried about it. Drop stitches yeah. don't bother me. I just pick them back up. So here is the... There's the welt. See how it folds over? Yeah. And um, it's and then you can see the yarn up close, too. Yeah. It's um, great. I enjoy it. It's lots of short rows and... Um, I see some yarn overs in there. Yeah, there's yarn so overs. There's like little you, the short rows, you don't do any wrapping. You just turn it and make a hole. And then when you go back across the whole row, you add a yarn over with, oh, I know I'm giving the pattern away. Y'all don't mind that. But it's so much fun. It's a great pattern. It's really fun. I'm, I'm, I'm no, enjoying it. No wrap and turns, which is nice mm -hmm. for short rows because you don't have to like hide the holes. And, and the yarns. Pieces. This is by Cog Yarns. Cog Yarns. I know it's over on that side. I can't, I can't remember. Um, Cog Yarns, I've had it for a while. I'm, I'm, pos I'm pretty sure it's Cog Yarns. No idea where the labels are. I have no idea about the labels. And the black is a, um, starts with an H. This is live. I know it's live, I can't think. Um, this is probably part of what people get frustrated with when we talk about yarn. One, because like mm -hmm. I know what you're talking about. These people are probably gonna know what you're talking about. True, but they but, have. But the other people in our lives have no idea. My husband knows who Stephen West is because we talk about him oh, so much. We really do. We love and Stephen West. East. I don't know if you guys have seen Stephen East yet. I'm gonna put a. There's a link. Go watch <laughs> his How to Wear a Shawl video. <laughs> Cracks me up every time. I've seen it a million times, I think, but it is. <sighs> So funny, but go check that out. But it's Beata is her name. Beata. Okay. How how long ago did you get it? Hedgehog fibers. Oh my <laughs> gosh. That one. I was like, I'm trying to think of all the H ones. Hedgehog fibers. I was gonna say it's H H F. I can see the label. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, it's just a tunnel of black. I mean, it's kind of, kind it's of bluish gorgeous. Tent, he, hue to it. Yeah. The word it's but it's really pretty. And the gray is the the gray is is like a warm gray, mm -hmm. taupey gray. It's not a blue gray. The other thing is, it's a shift by Andrea Mowry, which this is my third mm -hmm. one. Yep. I knit myself one, and I knit one for somebody who left in December. Well, she's just, back all the time to sub. Well, she but, subs, but I mean, but she's not working full time. Um, so, 
I we'll just turn it. it. I'm in the middle of a row. Uh, I know that you shouldn't. Oh, nobody cares. I don't. Anyway, there it is. Look at those colors. It's and I'm using Chroma Worsted Twist by Knit Picks. That's the light color, and that's the dark color, and then the purpley one. So. Now, Knit Picks is a great site for a lot of people who are getting started. Yeah. Their yarns are more affordable. Um, the colors are more even toned, so if you buy yarns in different it's, lots, yeah, it's, it's, not it's gonna... yeah, the lots aren't as it's big a variation in them. Not that it matters and that kind of stuff. But um, I love Knit Picks since mm -hmm. ever since they opened up. They they usually have really good quality bases mm -hmm. and affordable bases, and sometimes they got some new. When you want to make something that's got 14 different colors in it and you want them all to be the same base, mm -hmm. yeah, it's, just, it's a good place to go. It's just a good place to go. They also, I mean, especially when we're talking about on teacher salary, yeah. they have alpaca based now. Um, oh, they've got um, their mohair is gorgeous. That aloft, yeah, the, yeah, the aloft. It's they have it's some so great yarns if you've never checked them out, which a lot of knitters have, but they're amazing. I have really no idea what I just did to my pattern. Okay, we'll figure it out later. We'll figure that out. So speaking of paper patterns, like sometimes we have them, but we are really into the Knitting oh, yes. Genius app. Yes. Um, and I pay, I think it's $8 a year. That just went up. Yeah, it just went up just to $7.99. So it was $6.99, now it's yeah. $7.99, but it is a fabulous app. And I'll kind of show you. Pull yours up. Yeah. Pull mine up. So this little red circle right here, when you click it, um, so this is like some tools they have in there, but at the bottom's got my projects and you can see this is how many whips that I've got going on right now. Oh, I, I created um, a folder that yeah, finished they, projects. They just started this whole folders thing. And so you can see right here, I got my FOs and then I got my frogged, but I've also got like, I've got three sweaters that I've started. I just started, um, the Sanguine, 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 Sanguine. I loved um, doing that project. By, mm, more thunder. More thunder. More, um, more thunder. Yeah, more thunder. thunder. So yes, um, yes, more thunder. And uh, here's the. I started oh, mine, this one. Mine is all in her yarn. Oh yeah, we should get that out. But look at that. It's a very easy knit. Um, it is. It was so much fun. It went so fast. Yeah. And you can you can switch the colors up. Um, it even came with a uh, thing you could print and actually color in, like a coloring oh, sheet. Oh, yes. Yeah, so you could color your own so colors. you could color your own colors. Um, but did that, I do that? I don't remember if I did that or not. I did. I, so I bought Knit Picks um, gloss so I could have something with a little bit of silk in it. But the the app, that's the whole reason I brought it. The app is fabulous. Oh, yes. Yeah. I keep my, um, my tablet. Okay. Especially since we just bought a new couch. Set. And my, my love seat. My husband got the couch. I got the love seat. And it's got built in cup holders. So I ordered one of those cup holder phone holders that you can use in your car for my couch. Mm -hmm. And I hold my uh, tablet in it. And then I keep it on Knitting Genius all the time. That's what I watch. Um, or I keep my Knitting Genius right open there. So, because you can highlight the row and you, you keep track of the rows yep. and which, how many stitches. And I mean, all kinds of things you can add on to it. And I, it has saved my life. So I use it on my phone and on my tablet all the time. I rarely, I do not know why I printed out this pattern because I never print uh, card copies, but I did. Just highlight, I guess. Just highlight. So I've got, yeah. I'm still working on this one, but the slip strips again, extravaganza. Slip extravaganza. From last year, um, it has on the apps, you see this little three right here. If I hit that three, it has all the parts. So I was able to put all the different parts of the project in there. And if I want to open up another one, I can click, let me do it this way. I can select it and it'll move back to where I have clue two actually loaded on there. So you can load a bunch of different files. Yeah. Um, it's got the, I got a pink highlight line on here. You can have one of those. Um, there is a place, if you hold it, you can even put on, um, let me see, I can get it to work. And, oh, they changed it. Look, it's a new thing. All right, so there's just a little pencil here. When I hit the pencil, I can annotate or draw. I can draw. Yes, you can draw. Yeah, oh. I, I've been using that. I've been using that one. Oh, it's so that, cool. That is amazing. Oh, oh, just got the app. Just got better, guys. And I didn't even know it. it. I'm just trying to um, find my finished lip extravaganza because I did yeah, finish. It. You did finish. I didn't finish mine. It's still on clue three, to be honest. But it'll get done someday. 
Um, I did finish it though. But yeah, the app is absolutely fabulous. Like I said, it keeps everything there. You can order them by name, by the last worked on. Mm -hmm. um, it even tells me, I don't really keep up with it as much as I should, but it tells me that I have knit, um, let's see here, four, 406,096 stitches. Yeah, I don't even keep, I don't keep that turned on on mine. Do, that's cool the, though. I do have the rows, 8,356. The stitches doesn't keep up very well for me just because you're supposed to put how many stitches per row in there. Um, and so, oh, there it is. That's no, 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 that's the- Oh, that's um, Phantasma. And Phantas, Fantasta Stitch. Fantasta Stitch, you know what? I don't have a picture of Slip Stravaganza because it's laying in the two blocked pile. Two blocked pile, okay. I have well, laying in the two blocked pile. Oh, and it's all in Barnyard Knits yarn. Oh, let's yeah. talk about that. Uh, yeah, okay. Now, we'll, I talk, we'll talk about Barnyard Knits next time because that's when my order should be here. <laughs> talk about it. And she'll it have it blocked. Stay. Again, I'll just have everything <laughs> blocked. Right, right. No. Well, i got to block this thing anyway. Y'all, this is this is me blocking shawls. I have a... What do you call it? Metal wire? It's called a clothesline. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's called a clothesline. I have one in my garage that runs through my door all the way over the other wall. And... um. That's where I block my shawls. That's what that picture was. Was mm -hmm. it being hung on this clothesline and with uh, clothespins? Close you know, those things. That's what I did. You couldn't see it on screen, but I was going like this. Clothespins <laughs> hanging up across the line. And then I, I hang little, clo I hang heavier clothespins off the points wherever I want it to, to pull out to. And it works vertical, gravity. Telling you, physics, <laughs> physics rules, people. Let me just say. So anyway, yes. So I, I'll block slip stravaganza before next time, and then we'll, we'll talk, talk about, about barnyard because my, my next order should be here by then. Yeah. So yeah, that's yep. That's knit genius. We okay. She found it first, mm -hmm. and then turned me on to it, and, and I couldn't I couldn't knit without it anymore. No, I mean, their I really customer couldn't. service is great. I had an issue when I got a new phone, and it wasn't uploading. All my projects disappeared. I panicked. Because oops, um, yeah, that I had like oops. five or six projects that I had already downloaded into the app. I had just started using it, and when I transferred over, it disappeared. My old phone died, wouldn't turn on. They couldn't fix it, and I contacted them. And said, I don't know what's going on, but I need some help here. And they're like, Oh, we got this. And they were like, Really impressed with my stitch count. But I, oh wow, I, I know I didn't think about it. I was like, <laughs> I don't keep my, I don't turn it on for each project. Well, you actually get like up, like your your profile. You get new. So I am at level seven, which is like. A knitting something. I don't. It was a you're, knitting queen. I think you're a knitting queen. You a knitting genius um, girl. Oh, that's you gotta see. It's, that's the ravelry button. Okay. It's got this cute little uh, sheep. It's not There's focusing like it's supposed to, but it's got little balls of yarn for earrings and knitting. I know they're just like my needles as a crown. Mine says a loop addict. You're a loop addict. She's got three thousand. <laughs> yeah, and, and I promise you, I have done way more than that on oh, this absolutely. thing. But I don't tell it to keep track. I don't. I don't start the clock on it. I should. Well, that would be cool to know how how long I was knitting on it. Yeah. But I'm I'm okay. You do have to go in and say this is it's this many stitches yeah. per row and that kind of thing. So that can get a little tedious. In 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 case this hasn't become incredibly apparent, I'm ADHD, and I don't sit still very long for anything. I <laughs> I jump topics, projects, rooms. I I'm always moving. It gets worse as a teacher too. Like oh yeah, you can't keep anything. Yeah. It, but. But yeah, their customer service is great. Eight dollars a year for the app. It's wonderful. Oh yeah, and premium's totally worth it. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. premium's totally because you get to use the highlighters and all kinds of stuff, mm -hmm. and uh, it's it's really worth it. it their really own tutorials. Is. There's some projects in there you can add or you mm -hmm. can add your own, and it links to Ravelry. It does. So you can you can straight download patterns right. from that you've bought or that mm -hmm. you have in your library to from Ravelry to the app, yep. and it just pulls it all in. I can bring it up from Google. Drive, which mm -hmm. is where I keep everything, and from Ravelry directly without any problem. You know, I haven't had any trouble. Yeah. There's there's a ton of apps out there, it's and cool. it's the best one I think I found. I'll keep looking, but for now, they've got my business. I thought about oh, trying to. Somebody was talking about on a podcast about Knit Companion the other day. Isn't that what it's called? Knit I, Companion. Anyway, I I. I I started to look it up and, and mess with it, and I thought, yeah, no, I'm really happy if I had any disconnect or discontent with Knit Genius, but I, Knitting Genius, but I really like Knitting Genius. That one's a lot more intense, I think. Yeah. And I th now, we both have Androids. Mm -hmm, Our do. phones are Androids. We're, they're, um, they're specifically Google. Yeah, we're Google phones. I love my Google And um, I, I need a new one. Mine's old. 
but they're Google funds. And so we Google everything. Yeah, so um, Google. it's all Google. Our school is Google. So we just, everything's Google. So we don't know, I mean, I don't know that it would, how it works on an iPhone or an iPad. You use it on your iPad, don't you? I do. You? I use it on my okay. iPad. Um, and you can download it on anything that has like yeah, Play it's, Store it's both. or Play the Store Apple or app, apps. Whatever Apple apps. thing's called. Store. App, app Store. store yeah. App Store. I don't yeah. know. My kids all have iPhones, but I, I'm Google. I, I, I like to Google. I don't know. The Google phone, I can do so much I more with it. I can find the files. I can download files, delete files. I can, yeah. I know Apple does that now, but it's just not my, not been my thing. Not, not harsh on people who love Apple because Apple is a great product. I just I, have never appled. I just, I, I like, I like my Google phone. I like it a lot. But yeah. I do like my Google phone. Do you want to talk about a few of our acquisitions? Yeah, we can talk about our yarn. Our newest, yarn. newest yarn. Because we have lots and lots of so, yarn. I did make the commitment at the beginning of the year to not buy any yarn that didn't have project specifics to it. Oh, okay. And I did not commit well to that. No, you didn't. I signed up that, yeah, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna use my stash, which it I've didn't done really well. well. I've done well. Yeah, no, you have been using your stash. I didn't buy yarn until now. April, <laughs> April. It took me till April. It did, it did. And it was Hugh Loco that got me. Oh, yeah. Oh, my That's gosh. one of my weak spots. Hugh Loco and Miss Babs. Uh, Barnyard, barnyard, yeah, barnyard, barnyard. Oh gosh, her way with colors just. She and Nicole both, but they're oh, yeah. very different. But they really, they get me. And yarn ink, yarn ink. I don't think I've bought anything from yarn ink before. Let's talk a little bit about yarn ink. Then. <laughs> let's start there. We'll go to we'll go to Hugh Loco and this. Is, no, we don't see Hugh Loco first because we got we both have Hugh we Loco. We both have. We did. We so um she's been doing a flowers of the month thing. Oh, I got March in the other room. I forgot. <sighs> I forgot to bring it in here. You want to sneak out? No, I'll just pull it up on my phone while you talk. Okay. So, um, my birthday's in May. My anniversary's in May. My husband's birthday is May. Everything for me is in May. And I, I love my birthday month. It's a great month. Um, May is, it's nice and warm outside for the most part. We don't get a lot of snow in May. Um, I'm a, we I'm, don't get any snow in May. No. Um, <laughs> we get 80 degree, 90 degree weather in May. Um, I, I love, I love, I love it. It's just, my, it's my favorite month. And it's not just because of my birthday. Like, I, my birthday's never been. It's the end of the school year. <laughs> that, that, I think that has a lot to do with it. Like, as a kid, it was like, it's my birthday. We got Summer's birthday. coming, summer's coming. Summer is coming. So, she did a uh, May flower, which is Lily of the Valley. Um, and she did the mini skein set. So, it's 10 skeins. And um, she does the minis. And then she has, like, this beefed up version. What does she call okay, it? Sorry. I got to go to Instagram. Um, oh, the 50s. The 50s. So instead of the it's 20 called the 50s. grams, it's I their got 50 grams the 50s. Gains. This gains. is gains. her Phyllis sock, and they are gorgeous. So I'm going to pull up a couple at a time. I had them in order, and then my husband shoved them in a bag. Uh, out of order. To get them. Because that's what our husband did. Yeah, do. He, didn't, he didn't know. I, I don't blame him. He put it in the bag. He put it to go upstairs into my craft room. And um, so they're, essentially, they don't have names. But look at some of these beautiful colors. This has got greens, there's pink in a bunch of them. So there's two. Oh, they're just so beautiful. I don't even know if it's on her website anymore. But here's March some. March isn't, I had to go to Instagram to here's find some it. some purpley ones. And it's got, uh, it just, and they it's all beautiful. go together. The, I just, here's three more. Let me go this way. They just are. Gorgeous, gorgeous coat. The speckles on some of these, the de speckle Just definition. Like, here it you is. Can see. This is my All lined together. up. Yeah, do it lined up because this is just. Oh, big. it's Instagram. It won't go sideways. It won't go sideways. Uh -uh. Yeah, you can't zoom Let's see. No. There's some. Um, if you hold it up close, they can see it all laid out see. together. All those beautiful colors. So they are beautiful, beautiful colors. The, oh. One of the best things about buying this, first thing it came with this great little card, and it says on the card, suggested coordinations for semi-solids, and so it gives me colors I could buy that go with the sock set. Yeah, the things that coordinate. So it's great, like I love this idea mm -hmm. about saying like, this would go great with these colors, because I am definitely not the artistic kind. I have to ask people, like, do these colors go? My husband has an art She's degree. She's lying. I, because she makes the prettiest yarn you can ever I imagine. I use pictures. Like she I puts at... yarn to colors. I mean, she puts dye together and they <laughs> blow your mind combinations. She really, really does. But with that, I bought. This oh, is March. This is March. So Michelle has this. And I, look we, know, we still don't know why I got those colors. 
it's corals and oranges and yellows and greens and yet yeah, it's gorgeous though. It hit my heart. And I had it's to have beautiful. It. The the light to dark. I love the fade it's on that. It's just beautiful. Like, that would make a beautiful. And I got fade. extra of the cream and the emerald green, the the, the tunnels that yeah. go with it, to mix and match with it. So I ended up with like fourteen mini skeins, which is what fourteen times twenty is two hundred eighty grams. So almost three full skeins of yarn. And so you could do something good with that's that. That's going to be a something. Yeah, so this is the the five hundred. So I was like, yeah, I could do the fifties. The fifties with the so five hundred. Talk about the chickens. Oh, oh, but well. Oh, I'm sorry. What? Where did this come from? It came. I didn't talk about this earlier with my clever clove. I thought it no, came, it came no, with it this. Came with, it, it came with your logo because I got it too. Yes. So she sent this little tea drop. I haven't tried it yet. Obviously, still in the pack. This is turmeric. Um, I am a hot tea drinker. Uh, I I'll. So it's weird. Um, I grew up in South Carolina. Nobody in the South really drinks hot tea. It is a sweet tea country. I don't drink any tea. And it is, no tea. it's syrup here. So if you ever come to the South mm. and ask for tea and you're from the North, make sure you ask for unsweet because it is straight yes. syrup. Yeah. Tea flavored syrup. But I do drink hot tea. I love hot tea. And that I love that she sent this little tea drop. I'm, I'm excited to try it. And then it also came with. Well, I like that it's turmeric. Turmeric? I say turmeric. You say turmeric? No, I say turmeric because it has an R in it. Do ours. Cute little magnet flowers. There's three of them in there. Little Mine black rose. Okay, it's it's special with the floral, uh, yeah. the, the flora set. So yes, on. the month floral. So yeah. If you use three, a magnet board, those would be those great. perfect yeah, on like the magnet I, board. I don't have a lot of magnet boards, but I'm going to find a use for them because they're super cute and I love it. And so. Uh, have, you, have you ever used the Loran uh, magnet boards for, for, to keep for, your, if you've got a printed pattern? And you're going line by line. That's really handy I mean, for that I, kind of thing. I really got into knitting when we met. Like, I was doing it before that. But you, when we got together five years ago, we really... I, I'm an influencer. Look! Yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I was the kid who got picked on at school. And not just for fun. carrying around my Bible, but I had my, my knitting. I was... I was the old lady in high school. <laughs> <laughs> I carried my cross stitch in high school. That Ooh. was the big thing in high school. Would you carry that needle? That little bitty needle? <laughs> Okay. I, like I'd be keep telling everybody, anything's a weapon if you're determined enough. Well, I've got my. I could kill somebody with a spoon movies. just look at it click. <laughs> what is that? What is that movie with um, Alan Rickman? I'm he gonna kill about, you with a I, spoon. Says, it's Robin Hood. It's Robin Hood. <laughs> it's Robin Hood. <laughs> He's like now so and keep. Oh no, it was. Uh, I'm gonna carve your heart out with a spoon. A spoon. What a spoon, cousin. <laughs> It's a little bit more, you twit. Now, so we keep Sorry. the stitches. We will small. go up on movies too because oh, the we're geek nerds them, about uh, everything. Geek them real. So, that was a die to order set. And I also got these beautiful, she's got this backyard chicken collection. She's got hens and roosters. This is the dorking rooster, or is it, or is it dorking? Dorking. Okay. okay. I, 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 I just think of dork. Yeah, Ink. dork. It's like I'm Ink. dorking around. We're going to call it the dorking. The dorking. Dorking, maybe. I don't know. Dorking. I'm going with dorking. I like it. So it came with this full size skein. Let mm -hmm. me take it out of here. I said I would do that when we did the videos. I've Look. It's so at... pretty. It's, it's oh got God. this. And that just looks really good. That is colors. dead on. That its is. Color. It is really That's so amazing. Pretty. Blues and pinks and. There's some orange in there, some yellow, some green, and, and these are the minis. Look, that rust just glows, people. I'm just telling and you. This emerald color here, it's beautiful. That's the same colors. emerald I've got too. So the minis are pumpkin and emerald, and then the the door king. So these are actually you can buy full size skeins of the tone. The yes, of tunnels. the tunnels. To go with um, to go with it, but yeah, it's going to be so pretty. So pretty. Nicole at Q Logo has the best. She picks, and, she and you think, you look at it and go, oh, there's no way those go with that. But they look do. It, they just, always, always do. Look how pretty that beautiful. is. That's what really caught my eye is when I, I, mean, saw I would this never set. I would never have put this with it. No, I wouldn't have either. I would not. I mean, it, yes, it's it, a kind of in there, but but look how good that looks. And when it knits, I bet it's going to be gorgeous. Be I'm not making socks out of it, that's for sure. And then and this one. That was so, the rooster. That was the, the rooster. She had a birthday sale. It was a 20 minute sale. And I think she does this every year. Yeah, it, was, it didn't last very long. So um, I missed I got, it. It was weird. I got the email and it was like happening in five minutes. So in five minutes, I went on and I looked and I saw this beauty. Look at that baby. So this is one of the hens. This is the silver Seabright 
with the minis and mauve. I love this one. And juniper. These are my colors. These are, but I, I just loved this. It's not, I, I thought it was with my hair. It, <laughs> it's not white. It's almost like a light, it's gray. light gray. It's my hair. A beautiful gray color in there. And all these, again, speckles. Speckles are <sighs> one of the things I love about so many hand dyed yarns. But look at them. It's just gorgeous. Nicole, you're a genius. You are a genius, Nicole. And if you watch this, I hope you I hope you know you are I a love. genius and we you love your stuff. And that is the mauve and the what else did I say? Juniper. 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 Did you say mauve? Mauve. mauve. I say mauve. 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 But I'm from Texas, so. But yeah, that's just it, and all those three colors just go together so well. Again, this one I would have actually probably picked myself seeing like the colors. Yeah, it, but yes. It, so this I is, love that. It, her yarn. That one makes sense love it. to me. It, but I, I'm at the point now, I trust Nicole. Whatever she puts together, I trust It's going to be beautiful, yeah. She's got the best color sense. Maybe someday we'll do a, a <laughs> what we make. And this. Can you see this without the glare? Look, there that is. What was this called? The Mellow, mellow Set. Mellow, mellow Set. Color mellow. Right Mellow Set. Mellow Set. So oh, look at these colors. Mellow. Can you see it in the package? That's not too much glare, right? Let's take them out. Okay. Ooh. I was going to. That's why okay. I opened it up. But, yeah, but I wanted to show see. it as a set so you can see them all together like that. Yeah. But these are my colors. I love a grayed out color. Very medium tone. <laughs> just hold them all. Hold them all. I am just going to hold them all. Look together. at that. Because to me, that's the glory colors. of a set. Again, it's speckles hold them like in there that are just. Oh, see those colors? They're so they look so good with my hair. They will look beautiful. I just love this. Here's the thing. I have two fashion conscious children who pick on my clothing, who insist on picking out my clothing and pick on me when I don't buy something they tell me to. Um, and they won't let me wear pastels. And I, <laughs> they say that I don't look good in pastels. I'm like, but I'm going to flaunt little old ladyhood if I don't get to wear pastels. It could be the Red Hat Society with the, the, bright, the dark Oh, I got, I've been doing that for years. <laughs> doing that since I was a teenager. But, um, I, yeah, so this is the closest I can get to pastels, but I love these colors. <laughs> Look, they, they stick to your my Yeti. <laughs> <laughs> they stick to your face. I'm going to have to do that with mine. <laughs> Look at that. You can that put it. So oh, my funny. gosh. Anyway, that's the mellow set from Nicole. At Properties of Matter. Just get me some. Properties of Matter. <laughs> there we go. My <laughs> nuts is on. <laughs> okay, I got to have some. I got to have a drink for it. Anyway. drink some water. Now, um. Is this? Out of my teeny tiny water cup. These small businesses. Oh, and then, I gotta show this. This is a skein of yarn. Oh, here we go. Here's your show notes, she people. Cop yarn. It has a label still on it. This is called Opera House, and I have no idea how long ago she dyed that, but I've had it for at least a couple of years. But look how good. Okay, now I'm rattling oh, Just again. a second. Sorry for the rattle. Okay. Look. Oh, that's beautiful. Gray color do pieces. I have a color thing going or you, what? You do. So I have no idea if or how this will all go, but I just adore the fact that they all match. And that's a bit of my stash. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That section was bought to you by purchases nice. from <laughs> Nicole. <Good look>. <laughs> <laughs> purchases from. She also, um, she's in Colorado, so our friend is moving to Colorado. We need to cue our Nicole, if you're watching, we need to know where in Colorado so when we visit her, right. we can possibly she's, meet up. She's going to be south, just outside of Denver, mm -hmm. Colorado, at a humongous high school that I've been stalking. I keep looking at so the website. So we have less than a thousand students, or have we broken right at a thousand? Right, We're at a thousand. right, like nine or ninety-two. There's maybe. And, and there are we'll 95 be, people that we had to feed for Teacher Appreciation Week. That's what mm -hmm. I know. So that's not just te that's teachers. That's and like staff, and staff we have, admin. I want to say we have 68 teachers. It's, yeah, it's Actual, somewhere around in um, there. Certified teachers. Right. Teacher. She's moving to a school where the math department alone has 35, 35. teachers. They have 4,000 students. Oh. It's insane. Their class list just makes me just jealous all over the place. I want to take classes there. But they don't have forensics, so I'm like, I'll go start their forensics program. No, you can't leave me. What do you have to go with? Tag team. Listen, three people are already leaving me. You can't be number four. This is not happening. Tag team. Oh, honey, I don't even talk about it. Here we go. I have one more thing that I want to talk about. I mentioned yarn ink earlier because her yarn is in... 
something I was talking about. One of her whips. One of my whips. It's got yarn ink in it. I don't I think forgot. It's, I think it was the Verity. Was that what it's called? No. no. Was it not in Vertices Unite. Vertices Unite. Unite. Why did I say Verity? What is Verity? It is Vertices Unite because Princess Meow is yarn ink. Here we go. Um, in Vertices Unite. I got you. All right. So, yarn ink. Okay. I don't know if anybody... You don't watch Yellowstone, do you? I, I, so, the first five minutes, Kevin Costner kills the horse. And it just... But I, he had to. I know he had to. I get it that. Been I, really do. I, I understand why he did it. It was suffering. But I was by myself at home, and it, I just couldn't do it alone. And so, Zach and I have talked about starting it. But we've, we're really into... We started... Um, we were doing Only Murders in the Building, which you oh, haven't watched that. I have you not watched. Have to I'm a forensics watch. teacher. I haven't watched oh my that one. gosh. That's like, the cast is Martin Short and, and Steve, Steve Martin. Martin and Selena Gomez. I know. Oh my, I love all of them. Oh my. And the whole thing is just hilarious. So we were watching that when you were doing the Yellowstone thing. And then Ted Lasso. We, um, I don't have Apple TV. She doesn't have Apple TV. So, but, I that. so I'm a pun person. Puns are just. Somebody did one today. Oh, oh. <laughs> One of our teacher, math teacher friends, uh, not the punny one. But Who's moving to Colorado. The, yeah, but the um, the one that's next door to her. She said something about, I really, really love your unit circle. And it was a guy with a bicycle wheel. And I died laughing. <laughs> it was so stupid and hilarious. That really but, is bad. That's a bad way. <laughs> just to say, Ted Lasso is punny and amazing. and But yes, but I yeah. don't watch Yellowstone with that being said. I haven't done it yet, but you've got... I am an obsession. obsession freak. I had not watched, I've been recording it, but not watching it for the first three seasons. Two seasons. First three, whatever. Whatever. As long as it's been on TV. And last summer when I went to visit my father, he made me watch it and I got hooked. I mean, bad hooked, as in I've watched it all the way through three times. And I'm just constantly quoting things from it and all this stuff. So, you used your rip sticker? Oh, God, yes. It's not, it's, it's, not, on, the it's other, on the other, it's on my coffee cup. Yeah. It's on my coffee cup. Um, I have, yeah, I've, I've just fallen all head over heels in love with this entire cast. And um, I grew up in mostly in Texas, but my parents were both from Oklahoma. And my grandfather raised cattle and horses and a wheat farm and all that kind of stuff. And both my grandfathers were worked on ranches and stuff most of their lives. Ran oil wells and stuff like that. So that whole Western thing spoke to me or speaks to me when I watch Yellowstone. So I'm really hooked on Yellowstone. Yeah. So all that being said, Yarn Ink, she came out with a Yellowstone line this winter. And um, this is exciting for her. Oh my God. Look at her. Look, dude, the one eye. She's the one eye thing. I mean, she <laughs> makes that face. Yeah. You know, she's that one right there. She's excited. Okay. So if you know the cast, you will understand some of these things. But this is Beth Dutton. I'm going to let you hold that up. You know, it's kind of like the Duttons. What is what is this? You see that little pinky purpley it's thing going like on? Like cranberry. It? Yeah, it's like it's just gorgeous. It's I oh, there's some green thing. in there. Yeah. yeah, and then hold them together. Oh, hold them. This is this is Rip. This is Rip Wheeler, one of the characters, and they're they're together. They just got married. Oh, you I'm just not gave it away. No, I mean <laughs> it's two seasons or whatever. They, everybody knows that Beth they're and Rip love. are they're a thing. Get married. Isn't that gorgeous? And then, this is... Wait, there's more. Wait, there's more. Oh, wait, I did Is this going to... Okay, there, there you go. There. Oh, this is the, as you can see on the label, the Yellowstone crew. So, here's, I mean, here's Beth again and yeah, Rip, and Rip right, is right, right next, next to it. To That's it, yeah. right there, the minis. But these... I can, oh, I've got the names written down somewhere. But they're hysterical names. They're really from... I mean, they're names of characters, and then there's a couple of them that are lines from the series that... If you watch it, you'll understand. But I can't say some of the lines from the movies. <laughs> Someday we might get rid of the stigma of not swearing on video. But again, we are high school teachers. And, and I blow it all the time. I totally blow it all the time. A matter of fact, a few years ago, they had the KCC, KCC. they called it. Because my last name's Kessler. The Kessler Cuss Counter. <laughs> they kept track of how many times. There, for those I, of you I who know... Up. Anything about schools and teachers, there's a there's a thing we use called Remind, and so we can text people without giving out phone numbers. Yeah. There was a Remind for when for just for the when it changed, they would send out an update to the whole crew about so everybody. Knew. She did it again. She did it again. This is what she said. <laughs> so, yeah. So yeah, I I'm not good. I'm old. 
my brain's slipping. That's my excuse. My my, my wheels are slipping. Okay, I just I cuss in German because I. Don't. <laughs> Yeah, luckily not anybody in our school speaks German. Well, I had to be careful. We do have a, a, a Russian student, and I'm pretty sure if I said something in front of him, he wouldn't know. He him. wouldn't know what it was. Um, but yeah, I, they asked me today. One of my, yeah, one of my kids was like, uh, Miss Chapman, do you cuss? I was like, well, yeah, I mean, I, I do, but it's not like I'm going to do it in front of you. He was like, do you ever cuss in front of your students? I was like, I say cuss words in German in front of you all the time, guys. Like, <laughs> no idea. You are late to the Shut party. Up. Late um, to the party. German's a good language. It's very, uh, I love it. I, don't, that I did barely know any German. I know how to ask for, I'm beer bitte, means one more beer, please. And um, he gates us, how are you? That was the thing that my mom taught me when we were growing up. If you're going to go to a country, you need to know how to ask for a beer, the bathroom, and ask somebody how they are. I think the beer is the most important one anyway. Yeah. Bathroom symbols are everywhere. Yeah. Un cerveza, por favor. That's Spanish. I do know that. I grew up in Texas. <laughs> you did grow up in I Texas. I got that part. I, but I, I don't speak Spanish. I mean, I can cuss in Spanish and I can count in Spanish and I know how to ask for beer in the bathroom. But it's yeah. Important. That's not all I got. I, I, I barely speak English properly. <laughs> I can I can say some pretty difficult throw science my Texans words. In, when you throw my Texans in, when you throw my Texans, yeah, I speak science. I speak science and Texan. That's about. <laughs> that's all I got. That's what I got. I don't think I have. I think I keep we'll, looking around. I know, like, like I mean, I got these piles over here of things. We have one more, and this is um, it's an obsession. I'm on a Facebook Ooh. group. Yeah, she's um, on a Facebook group. I haven't started the Facebook group. You should join. Yet. So they have a they have an insiders group on Facebook now. So um, I saw this on Instagram. You know, but you this know, is my fault. This, this I I did start. She did this. start this. this. So, this is my so fault. they they did the ad, the ads on Instagram, and the pictures are beautiful. They're dark, and the the leather bags are amazing. By the way, we're talking about bags. This is we, our new. I mean, we always had bag obsession. Obsession. This but is these a new are, company. Bag new, yes, we are really. Um, and, and Michelle said she bought something from them from their sec, uh, almost perfect sale. So, yeah, no, almost perfect sale. Portland Leather Goods Insiders is the, the Facebook group. And then um, I'm also a part of their PLG Buy, Sell, Trade. So people will buy, sell, and trade bags from each other. I actually sold a bag. They do mystery boxes, which I'm, I'm a sucker for a mystery box for some reason. Um, but I got a red bag and I'm not, I got, actually got two red bags. Michelle bought one and I sold the other on the, the buy goods. It's too pretty. Buy, too trade. pretty, too but, pretty, too pretty. So they have these, these bags for seconds. So they have their second sale. You, but we have yet to find anything wrong with them. It, let me, let me just start here. Yes. This is well, yeah. their oversized I, tote. I only brought one of my many, many, um, many. It, I love this I, thing. I don't know. <laughs> there we go. So Let me move my head out of the way. This <laughs> is the oversized tote. Turn around the other way. Use the pocket. The slip in the pocket. Honey. This is funny because it's smoother. Yeah. And so I don't like, um, peathered le pebbled leather is not my thing, but I will, Michelle loves it, um, but I love the nice smooth leather and it smells. Oh God, it smells so good. So good. So this was a second sale. I paid $140, I think, for this. Yeah. And like this that. thing is huge. I mean, I have it'll, two It'll projects. last longer than you will. Oh, it will. You could put three of your dogs in it. I could put three of the dogs. All three of my <laughs> dogs. All three of the dogs in it. Um, so I bought that the second set. And then we, I do the mystery boxes, but I think you just buy straight what you want, right? Yeah. From I, just, yeah. Absolute... I haven't bought a mystery box yet. I bought things from your mystery box. She had, she had. <laughs> so they're, they're almost perfect sales of, uh, again, the yeah. prices are amazing. This Look. is their Eclipse bag. Is this Total Eclipse? eclipse? Yes, this is the bigger one. That's the bigger one. So this is the yeah. Eclipse. It's the smaller one. You can tell there's a there's... difference. Well, do it that way. Oh, yeah. There you Thanks. go. Look at that. Yeah, you can do it that way. Um, I have I have that size, too. But um, this is my Notions pouch right now. This is what I, I carry all my my Notions in. So you can see. I mean, I'm not unloading this thing because it would take say, an hour if I take are all your, this stuff out. What are your current Notions? Like, what's your... Oh, yeah. We aren't even going to... We'll, we'll do... You know, we'll do an episode of What's in My Notions. That's one of the many ways that I carry <laughs> stitch markers around with me. Mine's not that bad. <laughs> See, you have them on bracelets too. <laughs> but it's not that bad. Look at that. I know. You can't even get anything off that you need. Oh, because they all, they all spin around. The whole time. The whole and then time. there's things that are hanging. There's loops hanging off of it that okay. have more on them. <laughs> I know. I know. I have a jade chicken. My son just went to a gem shop. And this is part of 
It's part of my bags. We're good. In the bag. It's part of my Mother's Day present. It's a little jade rooster. Because I have a thing about roosters. It's a little jade rooster. So it's my good luck in my bag. I know it has a Japanese name, but I can't remember what it is. Um, yeah, we should do a notion. We'll, we'll do a whole notion episode thing. that we'll get together I mean, with our needs and those are a lot of tents. <laughs> she needs the total eclipse bag for her notions. <laughs> I'm okay with just the eclipse it's for a moment. kind of full if you want to know the it, truth. She has to squish it to get it too close. But I do have but this leather. Can you hold it? See how pebbly and gorgeous. And see, I love the nicks and the use. Oh, yeah. That it, it starts to get. gives it character. Yeah, character things. But see, I can't find absolutely nothing wrong. This is supposed to be almost perfect, but it's perfect. It's perfect. I like can't find just, anything wrong so with this great. thing. It's so great. And um, it smells so good. But... They, 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 when you pull up their items, you can look and it'll tell you the degree of slouchiness mm -hmm. and pebbled. firmness, slouchy versus firm and pebbled versus smooth. Mm -hmm. I, I go pebbled. Uh, the pebblery, pebblery and slouchier it is, the better it is for me. Oh, I do like the slouch. I just, I've had this for six months and it still smells. Oh yeah. Their leather is just, it's this really was good. one of my mystery box items. It's another total eclipse. Oh, this is a color. coral bag. So pretty. So I put in here, like, I've got my medicine in there, so I carry a lot of, like, stuff for just Zach and myself. And, yep. I, Zach's her husband. Oh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't. That's okay. That's, I just threw that in. Zach it's not one of the dogs. It's not husband. a dog. Yeah, so I've got my Tums, because, you know, you need Tums, some lotion. Hair hey, brush now, and I have long hair, so. But, yeah, like, I just, I love all their bags. I and I, I, I have their wallet. I have their. We'll show more every time we do, because oh, yeah. I've got. 11, 12. <laughs> I have plenty. Yeah, I think I have something. I think between episode. us, we have something of every style. So we'll, we'll go through, and every episode, we'll do a we'll Portland leather good of the day, of the episode. episode. So the, the Portland leather good of the episode, yeah. of the episode yeah. is the Total Eclipse bags. We'll go with yes. that. And yes, we'll, we'll go Total ones. Eclipse because we total should eclipse. them. So yeah. So this is the Total Eclipse. This is just the regular Eclipse. eclipse. So it's a And we have bag. different colors. I've got a black. Purple, There's that purple, purple one. It's this beautiful lavender purple. Came in the same box as this with a, a mystery. So I'm not yeah. sure you can buy like I have a, a yellow. I have a bright yellow, a bright yellow. sunshine yellow. Which is Dune, I think, right? No. No, this was actual the yellow. The, uh, I have Dune. I have several bags in Dune. That's my favorite color. Dune's a good one. We'll show y'all in future right. episodes. Assuming that we, so, you know. But yeah, they're. They want us back. I, th I think the mystery good boxes. It's oh, the mystery bag. Oh, they're wonder. You get all this. I mean, you get a bag. Oodles of stuff. And the bag could be zippered. It could be. It's a tote, so you get the tote. It could be the zippered, the large, the medium, yeah. the small, the oversized. Um, zippered. They also like have an middle. option where you can you get like three totes, and, and then eight. in various little bags, which would be an ideal thing to do for to go in together and do. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. it's a great and idea. Split and split. You know. Everything names yeah. or whatever, yeah. just to split up what you get. Get three people to go in. That's that's yeah. important. Everybody gets a tote. Yeah. yeah, you just don't know what colors you're getting, but you know, I, I promise you, the quality is good. It's good, yeah. And they have a storefront in Portland. They do. So, so West Coast Portland, people, if you're ever in Portland, Oregon, find that place because it it's it's really the pictures are gorgeous. I did. I got my I bet mom. It smells wonderful. Oh my gosh, I bet it does. I bet it smells wonderful to walk in. I just. Uh. I got my mom a large red zippered tote for Mother's Day, and she absolutely loved it because she left yes she she went out of town yesterday, so yeah. we gave it to her early so she could use it. She's like, oh my gosh, it's amazing! <laughs> it's yeah, beautiful. Like, they're it is. just gorgeous. So, they are. Um, but yeah, did we have anything else on our list? I don't know. We made a list. We're teachers. We, we had did. to have a list. We, we had a lesson plan. <laughs> we have a lesson plan. We we it took us a long time to figure out the name. Of what we wanted to be called. Be called, because we went with a few things. There was one, uh, we we were going to go with science teachers gone wild. But we thought that Google searches <laughs> might be a little bad for that one. And then the Instagram might be like, you need to be rated R. Yes, no, yeah. we don't need to be rated R. It's not weird. Um, Our then, favorite was in our element. In our element. We really wanted because to do that we, one because I mean, we're chemistry. in our element. This is what we do. We do chemistry or science. We do knitting. We do murder. We, <laughs> we, we don't we're, do murder. We, we talk, talk about, about murder. murder. Well, you know, it's part of our elements, part of our elements, all, but our elements all these things. But 
somebody else has a Facebook page and a and YouTube, YouTube channel called In Our Element about sports. Check them out. That's not my thing, but if you like it's sports. It's not my sports. It's something about water. Um, water sports. And then we, there was so much and somebody said something else, but we have a sign off here. We'll tell you later, but they're, one of the names was going to become our sign off because it's very common. It is. Um, but yeah, and we just really, somebody said something about ministry, right? Like one of your kids. Did we need to be a bit. We were. I was talking about in my physics class. We were talking. I was telling them what we were going to do, and some of the ideas we had about names. And so they were all coming up with stuff. And one of them said something about you've got to figure out a way to blend chemistry and knitting. And that was when Just clicked. Knitistry. knitistry. And so then we added nerds to the end of it because uh, yeah. Plus it goes with the nerdy bird. It does. It does. Even though we spelled bird. it differently, it goes with the nerdy bird. But yeah. So we. Um. I, I didn't bring it, and I should have. But we have. I. Oh, I, I have a sticker. Yes. I. I designed the logo, which you can see in our picture, okay. and you can't see the sticker because it's white on white. But um, um, I'll put a picture like somewhere right here. Um, but it is a periodic <laughs> table tile. Yep. And in the center is K N for Knitistry Nerds because they both start with K N. Right. And the way the, we're spelling it anyway. Uh, atomic mass is five oh four point two 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 oh two two. 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2 which is today. Day, so our, our first mass episode. Is our first episode date. Not air date necessarily, but our, our recording date. Recording date. It had to be we wanted to make sure that today was the day because it's yes. Star it's Wars Day. Star Wars Day. So May the fourth. Yeah. Be with you. And then our <laughs> atomic number is um, it has to deal with the uh, our school. Our school. It's the so street number of our street school. Street number of our school. So it's one forty four five. So yeah, but it's yeah. We're excited about that part too. Yeah. I have a sticker for my car because I'm a nerd and I put things on we, my car. Well, we do, so we could we could talk. <laughs> Let me tell you about cars. Right. There's the child and her element. I do. I, I drive a Honda, Element. a Honda Element, and I really did. So I wanted it because it was a Honda Element. But when I found out about these cars, it became like oh, this. we got to show you cupcakes. Oh yeah, I'll do that in a minute. Yes. So yelling oh, sorry. Into the microphone. So sorry, sorry guys. We got um, excited. We do that a lot. We should put <laughs> noise level alert. Yeah, we should. Maybe I don't know. We'll never do flashing things, right? I know. So the kids in my my chemistry class, one of my chemistry classes, didn't know about um, my car, and I I have no idea how they didn't know about my car. It's covered in stickers of beakers and flasks. And the back, the, the Honda symbol, which is the H, she's put letters that spell out, make it spell out hydrogen. Because H of it. is hydrogen. So, so it's hydrogen. there is, let's see if we can get a better view. There, there we it go. goes. There is the back. The so back. H so you can hydrogen, see the hydrogen. The uh, atom there. Um, and in, in one corner, there it is. I've got Oops. geeked right there in the corner so it says geeked with an geeked. ed yeah past tense and then She's i've got geeked. the erlenmeyer flasks so i have no idea how they didn't know that it was my car because yes. and it's green because that's her it's favorite color. color it worked out really well like we got the car it really did um but i, I love my car but oh the cupcakes but um the car is amazing i wish they still made the honda element I know. the seats in the back fold up and or fold up to the wall so you can use the whole back the floor is plastic i had two very large greyhounds at, at one time at one time and um Great having those plastic floors. Oh yeah, because you just hose and it then, out. Yeah, it, and well, I actually did that. That makes me sick to watch all the thingies go by so fast. My my niece um, actually rode in the car with me and got sick one day, and all I did was just take a hose to it. So it was great. I mean, yeah. it's a great it's car. Just hose it out. And the seats come completely out. out, so you can actually remove them. Like that's a good thing with kids and dogs. Dogs, um, but well, okay. you have a niece. The nieces that nieces, ride with you. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, um, Sunday, three days ago, was her birthday. It was, yeah. Um, and a, and a month or so ago, the kids in my third block class were asking, one of them in particular, he's, he, he's funny, but I think he's trying to get out of learning a lot of the time, which is, who'd have thought well, kids trying to get out of learning chemistry? A teenager trying to get out of science? No. <laughs> and he, I don't know where it came, we're talking about cake or something, because as teachers, we find any excuse to bring in dessert and cake and food for us, so... We eat cake, at, or on my team, yeah. once a week, essentially. We have some reason to celebrate. So so I think I brought in the cake. Or it was pie day. It was pie day. It was day. pie day. It was pie, pie day. Because we're doing all this stuff. And the kid asked me if I'd ever had a periodic table birthday cake. March 14th, in case anybody wonders when pie day is. Sorry. Because it's 3.14. Yeah, 3.14. Um, <laughs> I had to get that in you there think somehow. You these things. I don't. Um, and, and I was like, no, but that would be like the best birthday cake ever. Um, and the girl who sat behind him, she's like, oh, I'll just make, you know, all the cupcakes. It's like 118 of them. She goes, yeah, why not? So she did. I, I won't lie. I didn't think it was going to happen. Like there's, 
as a teacher, you don't get your hopes up. Yeah, because you get told a lot of things. Are going to happen and they don't <laughs> they happen. Don't. And it's not just the kids saying things. There's yes. school board, admin, you know, everybody <laughs> tells you happens. stuff. So you learn very just, quickly yeah, that things. But she made 118 cupcakes. periodic table cupcakes. Yeah. They, um, one for each element. Now, you see all the different colors. Those are the families of the periodic table. So the first, you've got your uh, alkaline metals, then you got your alkaline earth metals. Welcome to chemistry for older people. <laughs> In the center there, you got your transition metals. Anyway, so they're all the family groups of the colors, but this is where- Oh, wait, but talk about the cake types. The I won't oh, lie, I squealed like a little kid when she told me this is what was going on. So um, <laughs> each section of the periodic table, so these two rows here with helium moving over there in this big block and the one in the middle and then at the bottom they all have something everything has a subshell and each section is the the subshell it kind of ends with the flavors of the cupcakes represent each subshell <laughs> so every so the s's are the, one flavor the s's and the were p's. all strawberry oh s's are over here all yeah. strawberry the d block here was um chocolate then you have the f block which was vanilla i'm oh, sorry the p block which was vanilla and the f block was red velvet and so, and I, I don't know, everything about it just screamed me and I loved it and it just... Oh, it's, even those little, the little white labels that have the, the information on it. It looks just like Those this. are edible. They, she made them out the of fondant. fondant. So it had the atomic number and the symbol and she hand wrote the mass yes. on every single and one. And it was all edible. Uh, that blew me out. I thought they were, they were going to be the paper labels that she just no, stuck on. Just but they're made out fondant. of fondant too. It was just, it was... Uh, best part, best part. The girl who walked in and said, I want to eat arsenic. <laughs> every, you know, every, every kid wants to eat arsenic. Does anybody claim arsenic? I want to eat that one. I want girl, arsenic. I want I arsenic. Want give me some arsenic. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've never had so much fun, like with cake before. I know that was, oh, that was a beautiful, just, beautiful thing. Everybody got to see it. I don't food. think I told you what else he told me that day. Mm -mm. We're eating cupcakes, so he's probably full of sugar. And he goes, I'm going to buy your next tattoo, a science tattoo. I got two of them. We'll show them someday. But I said, you're going to buy my, you know, tattoos are expensive. He goes, yeah, but you got to get the whole periodic table. I said, oh. I said, where am I going to put that? Like, you need a really big canvas for that. You just put it on your back. I'm not getting the periodic table on that. He's, no, no, no. And somebody's scratching your back. You can be like, oh, don't forget potassium. <laughs> Yes, That's writing that one down. Funny. Don't oh. forget potassium. <laughs> yeah, right there. Yep, right, right, right in between potassium. Yeah, work from potassium down to. <laughs> That's funny. Just that is funny. Just so great. But I was looking for to make. I'll check on our list to make sure that we had, had done everything we were supposed to do, or we talked about doing. We did, I think we. There was no rhyme or reason to what we did today, but we'll we'll try to get more organized. Good. There's no rhyme. We don't even know how this. often we're going to do this, except we know we're going to try and do it on Wednesdays. Wednesdays, because no sports really on Wednesdays. Yeah, see, Wednesdays are really work. Good sports days. Good yeah. sports days. Yeah, I, I think that's, I think that's about it for our first episode. We're an hour and twenty minutes in, and, and um, we didn't talk about books. Well, we did a little bit as we went. So that's our problem. Was we talk about a lot of things in a little bit, and we bounce all over the place. Well, or, I mean, I think we'll get we'll get everywhere. Like she we, just kind of responds. We. I, I keep it going. We can, there's TV shows we both love. There's books. Um, I, everything I think is yeah. on the table for us, literally. Yeah, but we, can, we could even wander off into science things. And there's some yeah. things that happen that we talk about, but right now there's not a lot of chatter except for yeah. they really know what's in Bismuth or um, Pepto Bismol now. Apparently, That's there's a recipe out now for Pepto Bismol. I saw that. Did oh, you see that? One? No, I didn't read it. I shown. Um, yeah, no, it makes me just think about. Taste. Yeah, this haste is like haunts you for your rest of your life. It does. But what was? Oh, I was. I'm learning more about the DC snipers. That's that's my big thing today. I've watched a bajillion videos about Jack the Ripper and the DC snipers. All Not that they have anything together, class. but it's for my forensics class. I teach. Forensics. The kids say the class really ought to be called "How to Get Away with Murder," because <laughs> we talk about what people do wrong, how they get caught. Well, that's how you make a good CSI, but... True. But yeah, it really is how to get away with it. I got, I got a, like three or four of this year's seniors who are majoring in criminal justice or some version of forensic science because of what they did in class. So, so much that feels so good. Great. That's a win. Yes. All right. Well, I'd be going to physics, but... <laughs> yeah. I got a bunch of engineers. I if you, if you could engineers. get physics to actually go somewhere these days, though, but it really is like a you just do research. Yeah, or teach. Just, yeah. Like those are your two options is research and teach. So. But it fits in with a lot of other stuff. Again, yeah. that's why I pulled 
Actually, I've, I've, I'm getting, this year I've had several, and next year, signing up for it, I have a bunch of kids who are doing both, for my physics and forensics. I've got some of my forensics kids who are taking physics next year with and me, do. and a bunch of my physics kids are going to take uh, forensics it's with me. It's a great me. thing. Yeah, that's so, awesome. Um, I think it's a great merge, because it's in chemistry, too. Would you got physics, the um, acceleration of the bullet, the way it goes, the turn, mm -hmm. all, all of that. Measuring all the angles and everything. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So it, 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 there's a lot to it. That would work. That would cross over. Crime scene is all science. All sciences. You got biology oh, yeah, in there. Yeah. I mean, think and I do. I bring in a lot of the other sciences. Yeah. And they're like, I didn't think we were signing on for a real science class. I'm like, it even brings in like welcome to my world. Weather. I mean, think about it. You oh yeah, you can, all oh, yeah. of it. Like every science is in forensics. Yep, you got to consider them all. Yeah. Well, they're all interlinked in a lot of ways. They are. They are. There but we go again. I digress. <laughs> Good I do that a lot. Good word. Good word. So, you know, if you like being nerds and you want to hear nerdy things, come That's join right. us. Yes, we'll, we'll talk about it all. We'll try to get a little schedule, but I'm not going to promise anything. Yeah, but we, we do have the Instagram mm -hmm. account that we both are going to be posting on, hopefully, um, soon. Yeah. And um, we'll put show notes on. Um, there'll be... I think oh. down below is probably the easiest, but we'll put some on the Facebook group too. I guess we could. I think I think in the video and then right below the video, yeah, in the drop down box. Yeah, down below. Um, if you would, if you watch it and you like it, give us a thumbs up, subscribe. There's the little bell thing, so you'll know when we actually do post something. There's there's a button I can put right here. Subscribe by yeah. clicking this link. Technology over there. I'll I, figure it out because I haven't done it yet. So I knit and do things, but. <laughs> not not the technology. I had to get a Game of Thrones quote in there. <laughs> I knit and I do things. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I knit and I do, do things. things. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, it is it's Star Wars Day, and we really didn't talk a lot about Star Wars. We did, and, but, but I do want to I do want to talk about our our friend at school. She was decked. She out. face painted. She she face painted. Um, oh, it's a a a. It starts with an A. Because remember, I got it wrong in trivia. Bad in trivia. Um, a Sira, a Sira. No. Um, Ahsoka. 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 Don't deserve the name. I made her a shawl of Ahsoka. But she has a tattoo of Ahsoka. But anyway, she did her face in the symbols, Ahsoka symbols, and um, had her hair pulled up like um, what's Leah Neeson's um, character? Oh, oh. There's the Q. Qui Gon. Qui Gon. And. Um, <laughs> She had pulled that whole symbol up. She had a, a, a big robe on with her mm -hmm. boots and her tights. And, and her lightsaber. And she had her lightsaber. And she brought part. her droid. She brought her droid. She had morning <laughs> duty in our commons area where all the kids gather before school or come through as they're going to their classrooms. And so she had the droid out in the it commons. It was a remote control and droid. She had, it, and it would stop and make sassy, kind of sassy beep, 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 beeps. And it was so much fun. The kids went wild. It wasn't, it, so I know I know it wasn't BB-8, but it was the one that She called him R7. R7. That's what they named okay. him was R7. Oh, she named him? Yeah. Oh, I think yeah, because they, they, they did the build him. one. They at, built it at Disney. So she's also a big Disney nerd, so yeah. totally there. But she's Star Wars 100%. She has a Star Wars um, display of cutout. Big cardboard cutouts up on our wall. The, we took our picture in front of it this morning. Yeah, you her, should. Yeah. Jen came down, our, our librarian, our media specialist, came down to a picture of her. She's also a science Absolutely. teacher, and another science teacher, and then myself, because oh, I was yeah. wearing Star Wars at the time. I just had a t shirt on. It was just a t shirt. Yeah. I changed for us today to my new shirt. New, knit, I knit, knitter's, knitting, feelings. knitter's feelings. Um, I just lost track of what I was saying. Uh, her wall has all of the... And she has all the... What are the little... Pop. Funko Pops. Pumka, Funko Pops. Those Funko are those Pops. things yep, called. So she's got those. Like, she's just... I can't remember anything. She's all kinds of Star Wars. Okay, I think this is... Okay, I'm checking my email. It says, Steven. congratulations to our best dress teacher today, Mrs. Floyd and Mrs. Whitmire. It's so she won best dress best today. Dress. I, do we have a thing for that? Oh, we needed to because they were amazing. She's going to try to open it. And see. Is it going to open? Okay, that's, All right. that's. You're going to have to open the other one. But we'll show you the first one. So this is. Oh. We have to come back. So this is this is the one. This is not the one we were just talking about. But that's one of them. She is a Spanish, Spanish teacher. teacher. Look at that. Like, she's just all oh, She's Ray. Out. She did Ray. She, she totally did Ray. And then. Oh, my gosh. She's even got her lightsaber lit up. This is our other science teacher. Look at that. Look at the droid. <laughs> and the droid is sitting in front of her feet. 
And then, so she's got a Cordy uh, Star Wars shirt on because she has Cordy's. She has Cordy's, yes. But look at, look at it's her. It's a Cor Corgi Star Wars shirt. That's a, that's adorable. Oh my gosh, she's so she's great. She's so funny. I her. love it. Again, geeky science teachers rock. That's what we do. That's what we do. All right, I think uh, an hour and a half is probably it's a good, probably long a good time. Yeah. So Sorry, we are, people. We have a sign off, and our so we're gonna one of our punny friends came up with it. So um, this is the end. So everybody uh, <laughs> knit periodically, <laughs> and uh, we'll because we do. So there you go. We do. Everyone so, knit periodically. Knit periodically. So,